Hello, bonjour. I love to drink my matcha. So after all those years, I finally found a trick to get to my matcha faster. I'll start with teaching you the milk. So we have one liter of filtered water. And I add to that, when I do the milk as to drink, as to add to cereals and things like that, I do 40 grams of, uh, of uh, almonds and they are sprouted. But when I do my matcha, I do it more creamy, creamier. So I will add up to 60. I add 20 grams more of the um, almonds. And then I add 20 grams of date syrup, a little bit more, there we go, that's our 20 grams, and I also add, I'll move this out of the way here, I'll also add some salt, I use Himalayan salt, and then vanilla, powder, powder, don't put the extract. It will taste like it's burned. Don't do that. It's really, oh, it's awful taste. Like this. Then I put the lid on. And then we blend. And, oh, let's put my phone on silent. There we go. Okay. And then we strain the milk. So I have a nut milk bag here. And as you can see, I'm not using the string. So I'm putting my hand as low as I can. And then I twist. And that way the pulp is going to stay at the bottom of the bag instead of coming up the bag. And then I squeeze gently so it doesn't spray everywhere. Just gently like this. Here we are. Gently, gently. And now I can squeeze hard. There we go. There. There. And there. The next step is I take my jug again. I will put the milk back into it. And you see, it's just so funny that I thought of that just now. I add my matcha powder. And you can add lucuma mesquite if you want to make it you know add to the taste you can add the um, medicinal mushroom it's so nice also it's creamy and then i put the lid on and i blend just for a little bit so see so i don't have to <laughs> i'm lazy here I'm not using the wand. You can use the wand if you like, but that's just the fastest way to do it. Then, I put it to cool down. Why? Because when you do your matcha, it will foam more if the milk and the jug is cold. So I did that earlier. Then I use a frother. So I will froth my milk. It adds the, uh, the micro... A uh, bubble, the microfoam, which is nice. That's what's so nice in the, making a latte is those microfoam when they eat the tongue. It's such a, it really adds to the texture and the feeling. It's lovely, lovely that way. And I brought here my little espresso machine. I don't drink coffee, but I drink matcha. And, oh, and then before I start, let me take my timer. 
So I do my milk for, I know my timer, when my milk is cold, it's a minute, 35 seconds, so it's not over 118. And here we are. My matcha is ready. Turn off my machine, put it aside, and I will use a spoon so that I hold back the foam to be just at the very end. You see how it gets thicker now? There, that's the yummy foam. Oh my gosh. There is my matcha. Doing it this way, when you're ready to do it, do your matcha, all you have to do is start your machine so it warms up and then get your cup, pour, do your, uh, your, your pitcher, put your milk in it, do the foam. Within two minutes, you have your matcha. So it's faster that way. <laughs> Enjoy.